Hey, this is Rick Riker bringing you another awesome Rock on the Range moment. We're dealing. What's up, guys? It's Kimball and Cody from your rock station 99.7 The Blitz, and we're here with local band Infidel. They won the battle for Rock on the Range. You know, tell me a little bit about what went on at the battle, and you know, how you guys are feeling, how you're playing Rock on the Range. I mean, that's a big deal. Yes. I was driven that year. We after three years, I was. We were really coming through to win it. Yeah, we pushed hard. We we uh we did a lot of different strategies to try to market ourselves with a lot of new people. Hit up all the groups for Rock on the Range to come vote for us and check us out and help us win. You know, and now we're here. So it, it really did pay off. And it's amazing. Yeah. I know I, I follow you guys all on Facebook and all that, so I see all the posts and everything. A little bit of aggressive a post, you know, approach to posting, but <laughs> hey, it clearly did, you know. It, you it, you're doing what you got to do, and you're getting the fans out there. Right. Exactly, right. getting your name out there. I've said it before. I'm in the local band as well, so I'm trying to trying right. to do the same thing. So I, I can only imagine. Be you. Well, remember, yeah. you got to post a lot because you're stuff will go down in the list so you got to constantly post things for people who don't live on Facebook so then when they do get on they can see something unless you pay to boost it right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't do that we're poor so uh, who yeah. are your guys's musical influences uh, we like a lot of bands really it's just all over the place right. uh, about, I, I like a lot of heavy Slayer. bands <laughs> I like Slipknot. Lamb of God I like Chevelle I like Slipknot I like a lot of stuff he likes a lot of weird shit I've been sevenfold <laughs> uh, say that since they're playing here today. Uh, you know Oh, Prime really do like it. Go ahead. Everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. Primus Victor Wooten, Jaco Pastorius, uh, you know, all the crazy bass stuff. I've just gotten into like Eric Czar and Gene Bowden from uh, Nuclear Rabbit, all kinds of this stuff. I just bought a seven string bass, you know, what, what's it got to do? Right on. You know, I got to figure out how to use this thing. So I, I found bass players who are playing like just in the most insane stuff I've ever heard. It's taken me to a new level and joining this band has really also been part of that new level, you know. This is really like weird, like look, looking up here so tall. It's like standing in the front row of a movie theater, right? Yes, yes. Um, what band are you guys most excited to see today? Today? Sevenfold. I like a Vince Sevenfold. I like uh, Chevelle. He's I want to check out Chevelle. Gojira. Pop Chevelle. Evil. Slayer. Yes. Gojira is like top of my I list. Some those guys, those guys bring it. And you got you guys got a nice, you know, really heavy sound right. that's that kind of meshes well with that yeah. and into the Slayer right, kind of deal, you right. know? Yeah. It's not, you guys aren't quite like the slash, you know, like the slash metal, like real, 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 real heavy, but. We're vibe metal. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're a uh, high intense energy kind of thing. Like we yeah. want you to feel, feel it, it, but also give you a break to you relax some, but then feel it again, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Infidel. Yeah, Infidel style. <laughs> um, have you guys got to meet any of your like bands that you're looking forward to seeing? So uh, couple. We just uh, met Chris Jericho back there, and that was pretty cool. And uh, out with Mike, Pop Evil, Evil Mike, over there. Mike Pinfield's back there. Matt that's Pinfield. Sweet. That's <laughs> <laughs> have, have any of those guys given you like any advice to like? Um, you know, we you got to meet the right people that are willing to help and surround yourself with people that want to be a part of something that is. It takes a lot of work that you cannot do all by yourself. So keep keep working hard and keep surrounding yourself with people that want to help your, your have, vision. Have goals and just keep reaching for them. Yeah. Right on, right on. What's the now? You guys just played just not too long ago. So what you know? What was that like? Just having that that uh, crowd out there was it the biggest? It was, crowd it was amazing, and it really kind of was. I think the biggest crowd for us. Yes. It was the, very I mean, cool. they were directly there for us to watch us, and it was raining. It was, raining. It was a ton of people <laughs> back past the tents, under awesome. the trees. Was it was it was a lot of people, man, and it was they're, they're like they're like they're you know, garbage bag I don't care about the rain. Yeah. It was definitely the biggest sound. Yeah. I could hear. I could feel my bass drum yeah, in my sound. chest. Oh, it was an amazing sound. Right. Where are you guys from? Columbus we play, we, yeah, Columbus here. We play in Grove City. I mean, we're, we practice in Grove City. I'm a North Ender. We love the, the Grove City Police Department are our best friends. Yeah, we love that sarcasm? Shout, shout out to them. No, they're actually pretty cool. They get called on us sometimes, and they come out, and they know. It's not like, well, they not like knew. a mob thing. Yeah, know. they know we're trying to get here and play Rock on the Range. And they're like, we get it. Just, you know, be cool. Remember us when you make yeah. it. And they've been really nice. So, yeah, the Grove City Police Department, shout out, thanks. 
I got. I gotta ask, Larry. You were telling me a little bit that you were gonna do a stage dive. Did that go down today? Well, the thing is, is I when I got here, I realized how far the barrier is, and I don't have quite the distance that all the tall guys around me would. So I was like, I might break some ribs. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely a good idea well, since box, it was so wet outside. Yeah, too. I was just say my box hey, was wet. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to live through the set, so it was cool. <laughs> good idea. Better safe than sorry. Plus All right, it's you know, you're so you, you know we got the rest of the day of Rock on the Range to get to, so I'll let you guys get back to it. We got a couple other interviews to get to today. Tell the, tell the morning show we want to come in and hang out with them. Loper and Randy, yeah. they're awesome. Well, they every morning that, yeah. on my way to work, they just make my day great. They so awesome. I would love to come in there and have fun. Yeah, with them. Really. they'll be here later, so you guys gotta come. Oh, awesome. yeah, yeah. We can close the stop over. At the yes, yes, yes. I know we'll have to definitely get you guys on the local stuff and everything. We'll oh, have to talk with Nuber. Yeah. I know we've been out. We got a before. song on there. It's just an older one. The quality's not the greatest. Is why you know right. we, we need to find a place to get it. We've got new members, so we're doing some recordings. That's our focus right now. And the Blitz will have it very soon. Yeah. So when can we expect the new music? If, if I would there say is. Fall, fall. Fall? Latest. Yeah. Maybe right before. Hopefully sooner. We're going to try to do a lot of things over the summer. It just depends on what we can get done. Yeah, we're going to get a single released real quick. I know that. That's for well, sure. Keep me in the loop, guys, for real. And, you know, we're right. forward to hearing the new music from Infidel. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Pound it. Amazing. Pound the rock, don't smoke it. <laughs> rock on the Rage 2014. Kimbo and Cody with Infidel. <laughs>